To secure their occupation, the intruders did here what they had done in Europe. They built castles. The Crusaders built the finest castles that the Near East has ever seen. And the proof of that is that they're still there. When everything else may have faded away, the Crusader castles remain a living testimony to their presence. And Crac des Chevaliers in Syria is the Crusader castle over them all. It's very, very big, it's strong, it's impenetrable. It's a living example of the way that a number of the Crusader castles couldn't be taken by siege. You can see for miles and miles from it and see the other castles that would have been, you know, in visual distance for communication by fire and smoke signals. It's got, you know, all the accoutrements of a, of a good medieval castle with battlements and turrets and places for pouring boiling oil and other liquids down onto the enemy. But inside that castle, what was life really like? It wasn't merriment and, and festivity. It was constant fear. You had to be on the lookout in case someone was trying to mine the castle or to climb over the walls with scaling ladders. The people outside, the population, the local peasantry, they were not uh, friendly, so you had to watch their movements all the time. It, it was a, a terrifying place. The Crusaders made treaties and broke them. They harassed the traders who passed by their castles. As they raided caravans, the Crusaders learned of a luxurious lifestyle unheard of in Europe. Well, materially, the Crusaders were just blown away by what they found in the Middle East, and they took a lot of it back with them. Uh, inlaid metalwork, uh, textiles, silks, things like that. They had just never seen in such quantities before. The good life. These things they brought back to Europe, some as souvenirs, and in fact, there was a whole uh, industry that developed in the Middle East of providing souvenirs for the Crusaders to take back. It is perhaps a Western bias to imagine the Crusaders were a decisive force in world events, devastating to the Islamic culture and trade. The truth is, while the Knights of the Crusades were bunkering down in their castles, Islam was spreading its influence and flourishing. Muhammad's message rang out as clear and strong as it ever had. Allahu Akbar! Allahu Akbar. Ashhadu Mosques were now on every horizon. They welcomed traders. They housed schools and hospitals. Through Islamic architecture, literature and music, a vibrant culture was emerging in celebration of a singular faith. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن أنزلناه في ليلة القدر وما أدراك ما ليلة القدر 